Hey guys, it's Autumn Guard. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I mix vocals and basically how to go from this. Hide me for my sins. I'm in trouble once again. To this. Hide me for my sins. I'm in trouble once again. So if you've never mixed vocals before, this is going to be a nice little introduction and hopefully by the end of this video, you will be much more confident in mixing your own vocals. So the first thing that I like to focus on is vocal comping and what does that mean? It basically means when you take the best parts of each vocal recording that you've taken and you just basically put it all in one vocal track. Generally when you have a singer, it's not like you record one take and then that's the take you end up keeping. Usually there's certain parts where you will re-record maybe the chorus or a certain part of the chorus or a certain part of the verse. Sometimes it could just be like one word or even a whole phrase. So as you can see here, the first part was the first take, but then this part right here, um, I had it on vocal track three which basically means um, this was a different take and I liked this better than the first time I sang it. So the third time I sang this part, I ended up just kind of putting it into this track, which is the main vocal track. Basically do multiple takes until you get the vocals sounding like how you want it to sound. Another thing that I like to do with my vocals is take care of the breaths. So there's really three ways to deal with the breaths. One, you can just leave them in. Two, you can just take the breaths out completely. So like this is the breath right here and just, uh, actually let me stretch this out. Uh, so right here, you could go right here and just uh, take it out. If you do take it out, I would get this little box right here. That way it doesn't end super abruptly or begin super abruptly. The third way you can deal with breaths, and this is actually what I do, is I just go ahead and lower the volume of the breath. So for example here, uh, I'm just going to grab this breath, copy and paste, and I'm going to go ahead and just do some crossfades. And then I click on the actual breath and then I just lower it down to about 15, negative 15 decibels. I personally don't like to cut my breaths out. I found that lowering the volume of the breaths just kind of gives the vocal just a more natural sound. That's just me, totally up to you how you want to deal with the breaths. The next thing that I do is make sure that my vocal is evenly balanced in sound. So what that means is if, let's just say that this vocal for some reason was like, looked like this. <laughs> my sins, I'm in trouble once again. So if for some reason you did a vocal take and it just came out way louder than you were planning to, you can always just kind of lower it back down and make it more even with the rest of the vocal track. My sins, I'm in trouble once again. You can also do this with like a single word that you might have felt that you sang too lightly and just kind of bring up the volume rather than having to sing that specific word again. So basically if something's too loud, this is where you fix it. If something's too quiet, this is where you can bring it up. Alrighty, so once I've done that, then I like to add a saturator. So what the saturator does is it gives the vocal a tiny bit of distortion and overall it just gives it more presence within the track. So when you add your saturator, it'll probably come up as analog clip. All I really do is take the analog clip and change it to soft sign. Hide me for my sins. I'm in trouble once again. I don't usually add very much drive to this, but if I do, I don't ever go over 10 decibels of drive. The next thing I add is a compressor. What the compressor does is it basically takes the loudest and quietest parts of the track and it brings them closer together in volume. For the compressor in my vocal, I like to have a very fast attack and I lower the threshold. Hide me for my sins. You can kind of hear um, what the threshold does. 
So the next thing that I like to do is add an EQ8. And basically when you first get your EQ8 out, it's probably gonna look like this. I like to cut a ton of the lows. So let's see what that sounds like without an EQ first. Won't you dig me out this hole? And with an EQ. Won't you dig me out this hole? You can actually make some stylistic decisions here and go pretty extreme with this if you wanted to. Won't you dig me out this hole? I've been trying to get out. Generally, I will always cut some of the lows off of my vocal. The next thing that I like to add to my vocal is reverb and delay, and I do it with this plugin. It's called the CLA Vocal Plugin. Won't you dig me out this hole? I've been trying to get out. But if you don't have this plugin, it's okay. I got you. You can do something very similar with the reverb and delay. So these are both effects that you can find in Ableton. And I believe when you get the reverb right off of the bat, it's gonna sound um it's gonna sound kinda like this. It's gonna come out. So that's way too much. Um, the first thing that I like to do there is do a low cut. And then I like to bring the dry wet all the way down. Won't you dig me out this hole? I've been trying to get out. And then I also add a little delay in there. And I think when you first get your delay out, it's going to look something like this. And potentially like this. But that's obviously not how I want it to sound. So what I do then is I take the width of the filter and just bring it down. And then I also bring the dry wet down. And that sounds pretty dang close to what I have with my CLA vocal plugin. And obviously it's very important that you listen to the vocal in reference with the rest of your track. last thing I like to do you guys is double my vocal. This is another thing that I just feel gives more presence to the vocal within the track. And that's about it you guys so if you've never mixed vocals before hopefully seeing my process really helps you out by the way if you want this acapella i'm gonna put a link down below to where you can purchase it i'm gonna include the dry acapella which means no effects on it and i'm also gonna include the wet acapella which means all of the effects on it and i'm also gonna throw in some of the vocoder parts of this song as a bonus to you guys if you want to play around with that too so once again, don't forget to click on the link in the description for more info on how to get that. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys on the next one. Oh,